There we go. Fish on. Been rolling around here for quite a while. Nice little bass. Later, buddy. All right, the skunk is off. Nice morning out here. We got some, some wind and some rougher weather than I was expecting, but first bass. I've hit up three spots already, but we got this sonar working again, which is nice, but yeah, we've got, got plenty of time to fish this morning, so see what we can get ourselves into here. Nice little holdover striped bass to start it off. Beginning of September, fall run should be getting going here pretty soon. Yeah, thanks for joining, and let's uh, get into fishing here. Sun's just starting to come up. Oh, there's another bite. They're right in this corner. They could be sea bass, but I'm pretty sure they're bass. I mean, we just caught one. There we go. <laughs> oh my, my. That was close. So I think it was a bluefish, and he bit it, and uh, I went to set the hook. The hook went flying out of the water. Oi, oi, oi. Resetting my drift. Feels like a bass. I'm not sure what it is now. I think it's a bass. It's exactly where I was getting hit by the other one. I'm not sure what this is actually. It might be a fluke. Now I'm confused. <laughs> Now I have no clue what this is. It's fighting pretty good. Whatever this is. What is that? A bass? What is that? Ah, bluefish. Pretty good one. Nice little blue. What's up, blue? All right, two species. I don't want him to break. Get my lure. Got him hooked in a good spot. Sweet. Nice little bluefish. Two species. When they're that size, sometimes they shake like fluke. He was shaking like a fluke. Break my lure. No, I got him hooked in the right spot. That's great. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, he broke me off. Probably. Probably shouldn't have done that. Well, we got the sun up now. I'm gonna make my way out to some deeper water here. Water's pretty dirty in the shallows. Um, but one striper, one blue, one blue break off. And I started getting tapped by blues on the epoxy jig, so I'm gonna kind of leave them alone. I feel like they're gonna take over in a second here. But a little rough out here, to be honest. So I'm not too sure what I wanna do. I think I'm gonna try deep, deep jigging for sea bass. I had this whole plan to go to this other reef, but I'm like looking at the con conditions now and it's like kind of sketchy. So I don't know, I might need to kind of divert plans here and do something else, but this is the third spot that I've hit up today. I was fishing for an, about an hour and a half in the dark and the other two spots had tons of bait but no like game fish on them. So I'm gonna hit up my fourth spot, see if there's anything going on over there. And then I'm gonna try, I think this deep ledge 
I don't think I've ever filmed that before. I think I've tried to hit it a couple times. I didn't catch anything at it. I'm going to try that. But yeah, still transitioning into fall here, it seems like. Water 72 degrees Fahrenheit, beginning of September. So still transitioning, it feels like. Still lots of bluefish around, it feels like. I'm going to try this one ounce Mackinac Shad. A whole bunch of Procure on it. Still on this moon tide. It's a little intense, to be honest with you. But I'm going to try 15 feet. And then I'm going to go to 25 feet. Just kind of try and figure this game out here, you know. Hopefully the fluke are biting. It's definitely great fluke conditions. Lots of, like, really small bait around. They like that small bait. sure what this is. Are they small sea bass? Yeah, they're small sea bass. Oh, small sea bass. But that's cool. That's three species. Alright, let's start to make our move here. Small sea bass in the shallows. Well, sick 15 feet. I'm going to start to work my way out. Another one. This feels better. This feels better. Pretty sure it's a sea bass. Not actually sure what this is. But it feels a little bit better. It's bumping like a sea bass. Or maybe a sea robin? No, sea bass. Nice. A little bit bigger. Little bit bigger. Nice. Nice. Mackinac Shad is working. Keep working our way out to deeper water here. Kind of stay in line with where these sea bass are biting. See if maybe getting out to this deeper water I'll be able to get a keeper. This is right in line with uh, previous years with the migration pattern of what they, these sea bass do. So that's good. They've been pretty consistent the past two years. Kind of been hanging in the same little areas. So I think I'm gonna try and work my way out to a little deeper water, see about getting a keeper. Ooh, those look like bass. I think there's bass here. Or maybe weak fish, actually. Just got chased. My Mackinac shad just got chased by some kind of predator fish. Went straight under the kayak. Mid-water column fish. Ooh, here we go. Here's something. Ooh, I think this is... A blue fish. So those are blues that we're chasing. They go on the bottom too. They they're definitely bottom fish as well. But that that other one was pretty big that was just chasing under the kayak. It could have been this one. Or he had a buddy with him or something. Don't want to chew my plastic. Come on, don't chew the plastic, please. Nice. That was a close one. Ah, he still got it. Bummer. Uh, yeah, we're still transitioning here. 30 feet. I'm really checking off all the boxes today. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And I'll tell you what, as soon as I started to get to the deeper water, I stopped marking bait. Yeah, 
There we go. Feels like a sea bass. 31 feet. Not actually sure what this is. It's tugging pretty hard. Might be a big porgy. Feels pretty good. Whatever it is. Yeah, big porgy. That's that's one of the ones you kind of want to keep. I think I am going to keep it. It's pretty big. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. Wow. That is a big one. But I'm definitely making a lot of moves here today. I'm not trying to stay in the same area. Basically started way over there today on a different reef. Rode the outgoing tide over to this reef over here. Went deep out. And now I'm on this ledge, which is, I'm at 40 feet right now. Um, but we're at low tide on a super moon. So, so I'm at 38 feet. It drops to like 50. Um, I'm going to try this for a little bit. I just saw some activity. If my mouth seems, my voice seems muffled. It's because I've got a, the mask on. Been wearing the, the full sun mask lately. Getting a little freaked out about the being in the sun too much lately, you know what I'm saying? what this is weak fish nice man we are having a day 50 feet oh 47 feet nice mark this multi-species day it's pretty cool. Nice weak fish. Later, buddy. Wow, there's a lot of jellies in the water. I swear I'm kind of slow to back down. Kept them in the water the whole time. I don't know what the deal with that was. So that was 47 feet. This is the, the new sunscreen I've been using. I think it's just got a lot of zinc in it. It's this mineral Neutrogena. I like the sticks because I can just rub it on. Don't gotta get it all over the hands. You can keep fishing, you know? I think I've hit six or seven spots already. The 50s, I was out near the main channel and uh, the 50 foot Rex had nothing. They're completely dead. No bait, no fish, just completely dead. So I'm gonna try and work these 30s. I'm going next to the Ghost Reef now. Ghost Reef is like over here. I'm gonna go a little bit more over here. Really clocking some miles today. I hope I look like Frosty the Snowman. Switch to gulp. Something down there, that's for show. The epoxy rig that saved Bob's life. There's definitely like way more activity. Damn, all the porgy have fought in today. But 
that one little spot that I was just on had a ton of fish on it. It had some pretty big fish too. Like big marks on it. That's exciting. I love a nice big fat mark, you know? A lot of bait over here. This is looking good. Get slammed. 25 feet. This was the move. But you gotta check those boxes, you know, because you never know. Could just be a lot of porgy, but usually when there's a lot of porgy, there's a lot of other stuff. Yep, sea bass. All right, nice. That's good. This is good. Need to mark this out for sure. Nice. Told you. The epoxy jig that saved Bob's life. Right here. A lot of sea bass down there, 25 feet. Uh-oh, we got the police. Police are out. Hope they pull me over, it'd be great content. Yep, these are sea bass for sure. Seeing the marks now. Woo, the epoxy jig that saved Bob's life. Police. Please pull me over. This video sucks. Oh, dang it. They didn't pull me over. That's a good one. That's a good one. Well, not that good. But we're on them. We found them. I think the ones at my other spot are probably bigger. That's all right. We're just getting going with this day still. Nice. It's gotta be mackerel or something. The birds don't move like this fast. It's gotta be mackerel. It's right next to me now. That's a better one. I think it's a porgy. Take a, go take a cast of that over there. There now. Pretty sure it's it's probably Atlantic mackerel if I had to guess. Oh, just went on top of me. I just marked it. I'm on him. On them. I'm on snagging them, that's for sure. This poor guy. He'll live. He'll live to see another day. I hope. I got him. 
I got him. This feels good. I feel like I got something good here. Oh, it's not a keeper though. It's good though. It's a good one. It's a better one. All right, not bad. Best one so far, he hit hard. You hit hard. It's the best one so far. All right. Alright. That's a good one. Not a keeper though, but it's a good one. I'm on him. Definitely on him. Just can't can't get that keeper. They are really liking the Mackinac shad though. As soon as I switch to the Mackinac shad, they sea bass are really honed in. Kind of on this like hill thing right now. They seem to be right on top of it. It's like 20 feet on that side, 30 feet on that side. And where I'm sitting right now is 17. And they are on it, man. Got another one. It's definitely what looks like bluefish. Oh, these are those, those fish I was seeing, whatever this is. Should I take a cast? They're on it. I think that's what I got bit off by. I think a bluefish went down there. Probably saw the bait went down there. Got it. It's probably what bit me off because I'm starting to mark them. Everything just got really aggressive all of a sudden. All right, this is my last cast here. It's time to move to another spot. Push the limits at this one. We can't go anymore, Captain. Ooh. Oh, I got hung up. Dang. Thought we had something. I knew it. There's blues in here. What is that? I think it's a big blue fish. Just came up and slammed it. On that last cast. On that last cast. Is it a blue? Sure is. Yeah, so that's what I saw earlier. It was these blue fish. It's a pretty good one. That's definitely what I got broke off on before. I don't want him to take this jig. Please don't take this jig. As soon as I retrieved it, he came up and grabbed it. Oh, fantastic. That worked out. All right, let's go somewhere else. I can't afford those guys. All right, onward to the next spot. Really been trying a lot of spots today. Uh, I've covered a lot of ground. Hit up the bay, the flats, the drop, 
the reef, the 50 to 60 drop, the 30 to 60 drop, the rocks, hit up three wrecks. Just getting smoked today. We're catching fish. We found the black sea bass, which is nice, but no size to them. Kind of theme this year. Uh, but I'm gonna hit up this last, not the last. I'm gonna hit up this spot over here, this 50 to 30 drop. Did pretty well on the weak fish on this 50 to 30 drop, same tide too. And uh, then we're gonna go hit up a couple more boulders over here. And then uh, this morning when I was scouting out trying to find the bait, I think I might have found some fluke. They weren't biting then, but maybe they'll bite now. It's getting to be high tide. Maybe we'll try for fluke for a bit. Try a new spot for fluke. I've only gotten, uh, I think, one or two keepers this year. Really been striking out on the fluke and the sea bass. But that's fishing for you. That feels good. What is that? Nice sea bass. That's a nice one. That's the nicest one of the day. How big is the sea bass? Probably 14. It's probably like 14 inches, something like that. Look at those eyes. So mean. There we go. Nice. Nice. Man, he flew out of the air like uh, R. Kelly.
feels good. Feels like probably a robin. Maybe not now. Maybe it's a porgy. All the big porgies are always off the beaten path. If you want to have fun, go porgy fishing with some gold. Bring your, bring your kids. Catching the big ones over here. Catching the big ones over here. Got this really cool bug crawling on my wall right now, but got back from kayaking. I froze the porgy because I'm a little bit worried about the flesh eating bacteria that we have going on in the waters right now. And I was gonna eat these rabbits, but I'll let them live another day. But uh, I was thinking about making some old appetizers. I went to the Chinese place and I got some duck sauce and some, some soy sauce. And then I went to the grocery store to get some, some uh, guacamole because I've been eating a lot of guacamole lately. And I was trying to come up with some kind of appetizer to make because I've been having fun with appetizers. So I got this puff pastry here and I got this cheap cheese. And so I was thinking about frying up the porgy. I'll do a monologue over all of this. Frying up the porgy, and then using the puff pastry sheets that I got here, and uh, putting the porgy in the puff pastry with the cheese, and then putting duck sauce on it. All right, well, this is looking done. So I'm gonna put this on the paper towel here. I was not really feeling very inspired to do a catch and cook, so I was just gonna do all B-roll. But then all of a sudden I got inspired. I don't know what got me inspired. But I think what I'm gonna do is throw the chest cam on. Looks pretty tasty, right? But check these out. I got these for uh, on a Labor Day sale, all cast masters. Another thing I got for my Labor Day sale was this ugly rug which isn't very ugly. I mean, it's kind of ugly, but I mostly got it because it was on sale. But yeah, I got these Cast Masters for Labor Day. Three ounce, one ounce with the, the cool red uh, surgical tail. The two ounce. And this one, which I had never seen, this is the Tungsten 128 ounce Glow UV. That was pretty sweet. It's got this like pink pink pattern on but I think I'm gonna throw the chest cam on and do this catch and cook I'm gonna grab the the flour out but this is looking pretty tasty here okay, here we go watch out for monsters in here got lots of monsters all right we got this puff pastry been letting it thaw out pepperidge farm puff pastry Oh yeah, I was reading the directions a second ago. You're supposed to put flour down. So I'm gonna take some flour, this gold flour. Put a little bit of that down. Looks kind of like flour. Yeah, we'll put that in there. Roll up the sleeves. Spread this around the flour. Spread the flour around. Cause that's what it says in the directions. Gotta follow the directions, you know? Oh man, I finally got rid of these roaches. Had, to, had a little bit of a roach problem. It seems to happen every year around August. I don't know if they hatch or what the deal is, but had to have the exterminator come through. But 
we dealt with them. How are you supposed to do this? I don't know if you're supposed to put it in the oven. Oh yeah, 400 degrees. All right, I'll just play it by ear. You're supposed to let this thaw out. All right. Never done this before. Guess I'm gonna put this like this. Guess I'm gonna put that like that. I'm gonna take take this, put that like that. I don't know how to do this, but I'm just gonna wing it. And I'm gonna take this cheese. Should probably put something else in there, but whatever. Let's just use cheese. Put put the slice of cheese in there. Maybe I'll put this up here. So I can wrap it. And then I'll, I'll go like this. Like this. Again, I've never done this before, so cut me some slack, okay? Cut me some slack. Wrap that like that, I guess. Give this a little bit of a rip. Yeah, just rip that around. Yeah, stuff that like that. Looks pretty good. Just stuff that in there. Like so. Yeah, looks pretty good. Put that over there. Grab another one. I don't know how many of these I'm going to be able to make. Doesn't look like very many, right? I'm sure someone's going to comment how this looks gross. I'm not going to care at all. I stopped caring about the, the crude YouTube comments. It's been a great feeling. Very, uh, very good feeling to stop caring. Because I really like making the videos, and it's funny, I never really cared about YouTube comments, and all of a sudden, I cared for a little while, and then now I stop caring, because people are cruel in this world. And you have to realize that when you're a creator, you know? You gotta realize that people are just gonna jab you for no reason. There's nothing you can do about it, because they're bored and miserable. And you're a creator who creates it's just the way it goes, you know? Everyone's going to have an opinion. It's your job to not care sometimes. That's two. We got two. I think we're going to have enough for four. Four of these delicious... I'm going to, like, peel this out a little bit. Yeah, just peel it out a little bit. This one's going to be a fatty. We're going to have at least one fatty here. Four, four should be enough for a bachelor like myself. Wrap that guy up like a little pig in a blanket. That's what inspired this. I was watching a food show and they were making pigs in blankets. I was like, you know what, I'm going to try and do something like that. There we go. So that's four. I think we got enough for one more here. One more. This piece looks good. Let's call this call this episode Porgy in a Blanket. That's kind of what it is. Who doesn't love cheese and fish? I mean, come on. It's delicious. Pigs and fish. The rabbits are asleep right now. I can hear them. She's asleep. He's asleep. He sleeps with his eyes open. It's pretty funny. Always on alert, you know. Oh, just woke him up. All right. And then I'm going to set my... 
set this to uh it's at 400 degrees but i'm gonna do 350 because this this oven gets kind of hot throw my pigs in blank porgy in a blanket on here four is actually good because of how big this this plate is honestly if it, if it went any bigger wouldn't be able to fit it but there we go my oven's broken by the way that's why we're not using the, the real oven but we're just going to do it like this i'm excited about this yeah we'll put that in there and then uh should be done momentarily man i wish you could smell it it smells so good in here right now but i think this is done Oh, it smells incredible. I don't know how they haven't figured out smell o vision Wow, this looks good, too. The only thing I wish I did different here uh, was just kind of an afterthought. Oh, that is hot. Is, uh, I wish that I put egg wash on these. I mean, they look great. I'm pretty happy with this. Ooh. Very puffy. Ooh, this looks good. They're much bigger. Wow, look at that. Look at this. They're very puffy. Um, the only thing was I wish I put egg wash on this. I say we cut one open. Watch out. Watch out for monsters in here. Uh, which one should we cut open? This one. Make sure we get it in the light. Let's hear that crunch, that, that ASMR crunch. Wow. Look at that. Pretty sweet. Definitely way too hot to eat, but I'll let this cool off for a second. Pretty happy with this. I mean, it's just an appetizer, but pretty happy with it. I think I'm going to try it. I think it's cool enough to eat. I'm gonna put some duck sauce on it. Not very much duck sauce, but just a little bit of duck sauce. But... This is a very random idea. I was just watching Pigs in a Blanket video and came up with this and, I don't know, looks pretty good. Make sure to stay quiet so we can get that ASMR, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's try this out. Very good. A little bit rich, but in like a nice way. I thought the duck sauce was going to be a little strange, like too sweet. <clears throat> it's perfect. It's really good. It's slamming. This is very, very good. Um, I could definitely see like serving this at a party or something. a little hot but yeah the cheese it's like a grilled cheese but fish grilled cheese <clears throat> i was slamming it was really really good i think um i think i like the way this looks the best like leaving it open in the middle but this is still nice i don't know what i would call this porgy in a blanket i guess probably one of my favorite meals i've made it's super simple pretty affordable too I could definitely see like, cause you can make so many of these. Like that was, what I had in that bag was two fish, I think. Two or three fish, no, three three fish, sorry. Um, so three porgies. I think I used like half of it for this cause I ran out of room with the pastries, but pretty affordable. I think the pastry thing was six bucks. I only used half the pack. Then you got the porgy, the cheese, go to the, the Chinese restaurant and get the duck sauce. I'm sure you could make duck sauce too, but anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll get into that fall action pretty soon here. It's going to be pretty good. Fall bait stacked up. All small peanut bunker. It's going to be good. <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.